A story that's going to have a lot of people talking tonight. There's a push at the state capitol to pass a law preventing fertility fraud. Now, this is coming after a Connecticut woman filed a lawsuit claiming her biological father was also her mother's fertility doctor. Can't make this up. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joes has more on the call for legislation to keep something like this from happening again. This woman who grew up in Wallingford chose to share this very personal information, not only about her biological father, but the fact that she unknowingly dated her half-brother in high school. She's sharing this information, hoping that it leads to change. We never ended up marrying and having children, but he's someone who, even to this day, like I very much would have considered that had life taken us in that direction. Victoria Hill is talking about her high school boyfriend, who years later she discovered was her half-brother. Hill took a DNA test in 2020 in search of more health history, and that's when she matched with several other half-siblings and discovered her biological father is Dr. Burton Caldwell. She found out from her mother that Dr. Caldwell was her mother's doctor for more than seven years. During that time, she had five pregnancies that resulted in two children. Janine Pearson is one of her 23 half-siblings. They both confronted Dr. Caldwell separately, and Janine snapped this picture. He completely admitted it. He had no remorse whatsoever. Um, asked me very pointed questions about my life and my achievements and how many grandchildren he had, but offered absolutely no kind of an apology whatsoever. Just said he really didn't think about how many of us there would be or what that impact would be like. They gathered with other advocates at the legislative office building in Hartford on Monday to push for legislation at the federal level and here in Connecticut that would prohibit a physician from knowingly using their own sperm without a patient's consent. Despite speculation or concerns that more regulations or fertility treatments could hurt families seeking to grow their families, these siblings say it's necessary. I myself am part of the LGBT community and I'm pregnant and I feel that that's absolutely the furthest thing from what we want. We want there to be added protections for people going in so that they feel safe about the decisions that they're making so that they know exactly what's happening to their body. Dr. Caldwell never faced any charges, and today Hill is testifying in front of legislators, hoping that they can also expand the definition of physician for really anyone that works with and handles sperm, eggs, or embryos. Here in Hartford, Jennifer Jowis, NBC Connecticut News.